You're listening to Verses on Verses, Bible scriptures, real life examples, application, and humor with Candelanis and friends. Let's break that down. Let's break that down. Hey, y'all. Hey, how you doing? Y'all been reading y'all scriptures and stuff? Y'all been trying to figure it out? Life been life in, but have you been in the word? That's all I want to know. I know I have every day. I got to get up in that word. Welcome to Verses on Verses. Let's break that down. That's why I break down scriptures with my friends and guests. But today, you're going to get me because I could not sit on this. So the show is for 15 minutes or less. So I think that's enough time for you to sit still and really get the gist of the show in the scripture. It's not taking too much of your time. So as always, welcome in and tell a friend. And if you listen to my other podcast and it's 11 season, Shine with Candelanese, thank you so very much. I'm glad you're here as well, getting this type of nourishment. All right. So today's scripture of the day is Matthew 6, 3. I'm reading from the NLT version. But when you give to someone in need, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. But when you give to someone in need, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Well, Kendall, what does that mean? It means stop telling folks stuff. Everybody, when you do something for somebody, you don't have to tell folks business. You don't have to tell the folks, the peoples, what you have done for someone. It's supposed to be between you and God. You're not to say, hey, look, I blessed this homeless person. I blessed this person over here. I helped this person out that way. You, that's a quick way to lose your blessing. Because ultimately, who you're trying to please is God. And as we know, God sees all. So not letting your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Think about that for a minute. Let's break that down. Your left hand and your right hand are very close. They're on your body. And sometimes people say, well, I'll just tell these four people and I won't tell anyone else. The only way I believe you should tell anybody is if you're practicing what you're learning and you're in a Bible study or you're, you know, talking to someone who you're holding each other accountable for life and, and living out the application of the word to say, you know what, let's, let's this word here, let's put it into, into play into our lives. Let me tell you how I did it. Uh, You can do something like that, but to be braggadocious or to tell everybody what you did, mm -mm, mm -mm. especially if you're helping someone in need, that person may not even want others to know that they are in need and that someone helped them. A lot of people are very prideful when it comes to receiving help of any kind, and they don't want all their business in the street. So you're going against the word when you're putting people's business in the street and you're saying, hey, look at me, because you're not saying I did this to glorify God. You're saying you did it to glorify you. And that's not of God. And that's not anywhere in the Bible. So the verse today is Matthew 6, 3. But when you give to someone in need, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. So keep it on the hush, keep it on the shh, and just continue to be the feet on the ground for the almighty God, right? Keep your feet on the ground. We're the hands and feet of Jesus. So it's so important to do that by just your continence, just by breathing, just by being who you are. Every day, it's a strive to... Um, to be that and your whole countenance, your whole being should be of that. Should you be God? Absolutely not. You're not God, but you want to 
do things where people are like, oh my God, there's something about them or it's something they did or they were kind because those are attributes, those are fruits of the spirit that we need to be conveying. We shouldn't be running around telling everybody I'm a Christian or I believe in God or, you know, any of that. They should see it by our actions. So if you're telling everybody, run telling everybody's business um, and telling everybody all the ways you bless uh, Larry, Moe, and Jack, then you're going to lose part of your blessing. All right, it's shorter when I'm doing it by myself because I don't have my guests breaking it down, but that's all right. It is broken down today, Matthew 6, 3. I'll, hmm, I'll suggest this. Do yourself a favor and read right above this and right below it. So go to Matthew 6, 2 and then read it to Matthew 6, 4 so you can get the whole gist of what is being said here. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to Verses on Verses, where we break down Bible scriptures in bite-sized pieces to help you understand in layman's terms. If you have any questions or concerns or for more information about me, please visit KendallAnise.com. Oh, 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 and if you're on Instagram, please follow my page, Talk That God Talk, and that's on Instagram. You know how people be like, they haven't said it to me, maybe... Maybe they know because I'm going to keep talking. But you know how people say, oh, they over there talking that God talk. Yup. And we are. You know what I mean? So definitely follow that page. And also my personal page, Kendall Anise. All right, y'all. Remember, remember, remember to keep God first and know who you are and whose you are. God bless y'all. Peace. Thank you for listening to Verses on Verses. Let's break that down. The breakdown of Bible scriptures. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for listening. Make sure you follow me on all social media platforms at Kendall Anise. For more information about me, go to KendallAnise.com. Oh, and follow my Instagram page, Talk That God Talk. At Talk That God Talk. Self-explanatory. That's what we're talking about over on Instagram. Thank you all for listening. God bless. Peace.